Were I a poet, I would compose a sonnet in your honor. However, I am but a humble encampment designer, and it is you who makes my art real. you across the sands for many moons, husband, but I begin to question your judgment. We simply must ask for help. I can resolve this myself, Azula, but if you insist upon this course, I will indulge your fancy. Perhaps this wizard can assist us. Please, wizard, if I might impose upon your generosity, we are but humble Drummel merchants, beset by woeful misfortune. We heard the pale genie's warning, so we packed up all our wares and journeyed for weeks, only to be waylaid so close to our destination. As we came around the bend, these scaly tringles rolled up on us, stole a great number of our valuables. Seems they like shiny things. Of course, some might have cut the losses, but my husband is stubborn, even for a drommel. Seems the shinies are worth more than our lives. My dear Azula, you misunderstand my motivation, but perhaps we needn't argue. Wizard, if you will recover our wares, all will be well. I cannot adequately express my gratitude for your assistance, wizard. You seem to have a knack for knocking the Tringles around. Now we can proceed to Caravan with the supplies we need to start our business, and a great peace of mind as well. Indeed. I would like to apologize on my husband's behalf. It must seem petty that we place such importance on these trinkets. Wait! Hold on! This can't be. It's not here! Our most treasured possession, the jeweled box. They must have taken it into their hidey hole. You must be jesting, Monjab. How could you possibly impose on this wizard further? I don't understand. When did you become so greedy? Please, wizard. I promise I will ask nothing more, but I cannot proceed unless you go into the hidey hole and recover the box. Thank you. The hidey hole is not exactly pleasant, but you see a pile of shinies across the cave. You'll just have to defeat the hoarder to get to them.
defeated, the hoarder rolls away and out of the cave. Now, you can search the pile of shinies for the Salib's jeweled box. There, beneath the other shinies, you find the Salib's jeweled box. It doesn't look terribly fancy, but at least now they can leave. was really all that ever mattered. Now I can say for certain that we are prepared to complete our journey to Caravan. I fear that old age is making you soft in the head, husband. Why would you possibly make such a fuss about that box? It's beyond me. It's not the box, my dear. It's what's inside. Our betrothal scarves from when we married. Those I could not leave behind. You mean... Silly, sweet husband. I, I am sorry for doubting you. And you, wizard, we are forever in your debt. Indeed. Come by our tent in caravan. You will find no one sells goods of higher quality than the Salibs. I hope to see you there. You return to discover Caravan is even busier than before. It's starting to look like a proper encampment. The Salibs are already set up. Look at this, will you? A thriving nomad camp if I have ever seen one. Azula and I will be very happy here. The encampment designer, Birdie, is inspired, truly. Oh yes, he asked to speak with you. Tell him we are all squared away. Believe it? Ah, the way the teal brings out the contrast in the other colors? Just as I hoped. And look at how the place is filling in. It, it brings a tear to my eye. Oh, stop being such a sentimentalist, Birdie. There are still nomads out there, stranded, holding out hope. Ah, oh, and what's this I'm hearing about warnings from some pale genie? The balance of colors is delicate. No paleness without my approval. Of course, I shouldn't bother you with concerns about the palette. You should hurry on to the North Road. There are more nomads in need. Oh, 
praise the sand someone came along. Might you help us out here? My brother has gotten himself into a bit of a prickle. Thank you, traveler. Out here, no one can hear you shout for help. I was starting to think we should have gone to Agrabah instead. You see, curiosity drew my brother, Nassim, into the prickly bear's cactus corral, and the spineful little beasts locked him in. For the thousandth time, I'm sorry, my brother. I tried to be focused, but there was that spot of light dancing on the rock. I couldn't resist. As you might be able to tell, Nassim was adopted into my family. He tends to get distracted from time to time. He can't help it. I wonder. You appear to be a wizard, yes? If you'll use your magic to force the prickly bears to hand over the cactus key, we can open the gates. There, you see, Nazim? Not everyone is so cold and cruel-hearted. The gate is open, and now we can complete our journey. You must come by our tent in Caravan, Traveler. I promise you, we have the most diverse selection of any merchant in all Mirage. Look, Jabari, the spot of light is back. There, on the canyon wall. No, wait. There, quickly, brother, we must catch it before it gets away. Adopted he may be, but he is my brother, and I would no sooner part with him than with my hump. Besides, he keeps things interesting. Come see me in caravan, and we will do business, yes? And look at this! Never has caravan been such a thriving hub of activity. I'm glad we didn't go to Agrabah. Nothing but thieves there. I tell you, my friend, this place will be good for business. Thanks to you and that designer, Birdie. He would speak with you, by the way.
you sample the spices in the bazaar? They're divine. Not a shackle more. Twenty talent. I brought this here from the store. They say good things come to those who wait, and I believe it. The dream of caravan is finally realized. Aesthetically, all is well. But I worry your work has just begun. Some new trouble is afoot. Speak with San Diego. Whatever happens, I believe in you, wizard. Stay golden. from another world. I need not listen to the wind to hear of your success. The murmur in the camp tells me all I need to know. The nomads who recently arrived bear other tidings as well. It seems the warning on the winds of change came from the pale genie. With all the nomads finally safe in caravan, we must now assess the danger that drove us here. I would ask you to seek the Jinni out. His true name is Demuzid, but he goes by many names. He is a recluse among the Jinn, living alone in a tent east of here. Demuzid is a bit obsessive, but he has been a friend to the nomads in the past. I expect he will explain his reasoning if you seek him out. 